What is going on everybody? Today we're looking at the Hasbro Marvel Legends Amazon exclusive West Coast Avengers 5 pack. Now this is a cool pack celebrating the 60th anniversary of the Avengers with the West Coast Avengers. And in this set we get the five different characters you see on the front here. So we have Iron Man, Mockingbird, Tigra, Hank Pym, and Spider Woman. So those all look pretty cool. And if you didn't know the backstory with the West Coast Avengers, it was when the Avengers chairman Vision proposed forming an extra division of the Avengers for better coverage and distribution of their expanding ranks so a team was set up at the avengers compound in los angeles california and they were led by hawkeye so this gives us five members that have been on the west coast avengers team and i think they're all pretty cool now if we spin the box around we can see all the characters there and all the accessories they're going to come with so they all think they look pretty cool of course we've had most of these characters before like we've had the silver centurion iron man we've had spider woman we had tiger she looks a little bit different but getting hank pym and just like his normal scientist outfit is pretty cool and then getting a new like classic version of mock bird is quite cool as well so i think they all look pretty cool like i said it's not a necessary pack since we've had most of these characters but just cool to get upgraded bodies and newer designs and stuff and different characters we've not had before so i'm still excited for this box so let me go and get them open out of the box and we'll take a look at them together and let's start off with Mockingbird, whose real name is Barbara Bobby Morris, and after earning a biology PhD under Dr. Will McCalvin, the two began working on Project Gladiator that was backed by S.H.I.E.L.D. to recreate the Super Soldier Serum, and it was during this time that she was trained to be a spy by S.H.I.E.L.D. and giving a codename Agent 19, but her proclivity for taunting her opponents in battle earned her the nickname of Mockingbird, and eventually she would meet Clint Barton while investigating cross-technological enterprises where they worked together to defeat Crossfire and led to them getting married and she would then join her husband as the first team member of the new West Coast Avengers. So she looks pretty good here in her classic design. It looks very classic for Mockingbird and we'll of course see her more modern design we've got in Marvel Legends but yeah this looks like you know straight out like the 60s, 70s, whatever it's from. Just looks pretty cool with the like big headpiece. I don't know what you even call it. I want to say like glasses but it's just like her little domino mask but it's huge on her which looks pretty cool with the white and the dark blue. Her blonde hair flowing in in there and you can see she has some lipstick and makeup around her eyes and then she has her outfit so very small outfit here white down the center dark blue on the sides and the sleeves and I love how she even has the actual material hanging there off the back and little bracelets there around her wrist bare legs all the way down to the shin high boots have the nice big like cuff on the top of them and a high heel there as well so because of that she is a little bit harder to stand up but she works out well enough so it works but for her power she doesn't really have much actual powers but she's a skilled scientist spy acrobat and martial artist so similar to her husband doesn't really have any powers but she's able to fight against crime and overall looks really good like I said very classic design so I'd say it's kind of cheesy but looks very nice as well they pulled off the design really well and it just looks awesome but we'll do the movement so our head will twist around so it can get a twist all the way around easy to go with the hair there flow and then can look down that far and then uh, probably just yeah straight because the hair in the back so pretty decent movements besides backwards the shoulders do come up to 90 actually over 90 there so pretty high up and rotate around we get the single elbow joint that bends to 90 with the rotation in it and then we'll get the wrist that'll twist around and flex back and forth then we go to the ab crunch just under her chest so crunch back and forth and can twist all the way around then we get the hips that can come up to 90 and then out to the side that far thigh twist all the way around we get the pinless knee joint so we get the double knee joint that bends up to that which is really nice no shin twist or anything in the foot but the foot does rock back and forth and can twist side to side so it's nice she has like the pinless knee joints but she doesn't have you know the double elbow joints which I would like but it kind of makes sense with her costume design that she wouldn't have that but overall like I said I just really like the way it designs as I did mention she is a little bit harder to stand up just because those high heels so you got your feet in the right place and it doesn't look like she has any holes so you wouldn't be able to you know put her on any stands like that so you may have issues getting her up on a shelf or something but like I said I had it worked out but doing the movements kind of messed it up but for accessories she does come with some additional hands so we have some grip hands so we can use some of her weapon so I'll probably switch these out and with those grip hands we can give her her battle stave so we have them here in separated form it does have the design that we can put it together so much like daredevils batons and stuff so you can add them together there so I have it more of a staff or separate out we can put each stick into her hand so let's just slide these in so there she has the two battle 
staves, so that looks pretty cool. And then she does also come with the bow staff version, so it like all extended out, so you could put this in her hand as well. But I think like the two staves are her classic design, so I'd probably just leave those on her. So that looks pretty cool. So awesome to have her in this classic design. As I said, we've had her in the more modern designs. So we have this version of Mockingbird. So I definitely think this body is much better upgraded. So I hope they eventually could take like this body and just turn it into the modern design because this needs a much better body for this version. But there we have the two different versions of Mockingbird. And then we do also have her husband of Hawkeye there. So we have Clint Barton and Bobby Morris there together. So those look really cool together having our first two members of the West Coast Avengers there. So awesome to now have this version of Mockingbird added to the collection. And next up we have Tigra. And if you didn't know, I'm kind of going in order of how these members join the West Coast Avengers. So next up we have Tigra, who is Greer Nelson. And after her husband was killed during a robbery, Greer became a lab assistant to her college professor, Dr. Tamulo. And Tamulo had Greer undergo an experiment put on by her private funder, where she emerged with superhuman ability instances. So she became a costume crime fighter known as the Cat. But when Hydra went after Dr. Tamulo, believing she had a secret formula, the Cat pursued Hydra but was shot with an alpha radiation so Dr. Tamola decided to save Greer's life by using her abilities as a cat person to magically transform Greer into a half human half cat warrior that would become Tigra so she would then go on to join the Avengers and later the West Coast Avengers when it was formed by Hawkeye so she has a feline physiology with supreme strength speed durability reflexes and senses and then of course also has claws and fangs and then she wears the cat's head amulet which allows her to change from her feline forward to human form whenever she wants so she looks good here of course we have had this figure before it's almost going to be exactly the same we will see comparisons the only real difference is they changed the color it's more of like a yellowish orange compared to the bright orange that she was before and then we do have this different head as well which looks good of course looks more classic you know fitting in for around the start of the west coast avengers so her hair is more poofed up and like blowing in the wind but it looks nice with like the reddish color that it's got so that looks really nice really nice hair design once again i say marvel legends does an awesome job with their hair and pulled this off once again but like I said the rest of it's going to look the same so pretty nice looking face like I said just in this orangish yellow color she has the bikini on with like I don't know if that's the cat head I'm not sure where she keeps her amulet at all but there's the like sort of cat head design there like holding the brow part together and then the underwear piece as well with all like the claws or teeth or whatever those are there and then she's just got the tiger stripes running all down her body as you can see all the way to her feet where she's got the long toenails there and then even has the tiger tail there on the back so pretty interesting design so like I said overall it's not that much different from our other one just the color which I guess this is more accurate so that's good but I don't really mind the other one either but we'll do our movements so our head will twist around obviously with the hair we gotta go with the flow I can't even get it to twist around so just twist a little side to side and then she looked down that far and then up again probably yeah, just straight on because of the hair in the back so not a whole lot of movement mostly because of the hair the shoulders do come up to 90 there and rotate around we get a bicep twist and the double elbow joint. So we get the pinless joint. And I think the first tiger was like one of the first females to have it. So bends all the way up on itself. So really good with that. Wrist will twist around and flex back and forth. Then we get the crunch just under the chest. So crunch back and forth and twist all the way around. We get the hips that all come up about that far. I can't really get it much farther, but it is pretty close to 90 at that. And then out to the side, thigh twist around. Again, the pinless double knee joint there that can bend up that far to the back. And then we get the foot that'll flex back and forth and can twist side to side and then of course we do also have the tail in the back that can rotate around and pop out I guess if you want it but it can rotate around so you can have it sort of positioned wherever you would like so overall she has pretty decent movements not the full range of movements but you know pretty good with the double elbows and everything so it works out pretty well for her and then for accessories we do get an additional head so much like the other one we had this head as well so if you want to have her more angry ready to fight you could switch this head out there and show in her teeth and stuff which I think kind of works a little bit better with how I want to have her post so I'll probably switch this out but this head is also really nice with that hair but we'll switch to this one so with that she's now angry and ready to fight and then we do also get her fingers and claw form as well so ready there with the sharp claws so let's switch these out as well so there she's now ready for attack with her claws and her fangs so it looks pretty cool there and as I said we do have that older one so here you can see the difference so like I said definitely much brighter colors like that just classic orange design so I do like this a lot, like I said but it does look pretty cheesy compared to 
to this newer tiger that's you know much more accurate but you can see this is the other head that she comes with so she will also have this head just obviously in the orange color but at least you do have two different head designs now just for like the relaxed face so it's cool they didn't just you know completely repeat this one we did get a new head design so they didn't just change the colors but yeah either one like I said I don't really mind like because I don't mind this design at all I think obviously it will stand out a lot on the shelf but it is nice to at least have this one that's going to be much more accurate and everything I think she looks really good so awesome to have at least a more accurate version of Tigra. And next up we have Iron Man, which is kind of a combination of James Road and Tony Stark. But when personal problems caused Tony Stark to abuse alcohol and no longer fit to be Iron Man, he insisted Rhodes take on the responsibility of being Iron Man. And after several months, Tony recovered from his alcohol binge, but refused to resume his role as Iron Man and insisted Rhodes to continue on. And when the West Coast Avengers formed, Hawkeye invited him to join, believing he was the original Iron Man, but Rhodey would eventually reveal his true identity. And when Rhodes was injured in a bombing by Obadiah Stane, Stark donned the new armor to defeat Stane and returned back as Iron Man and he joined up with the West Coast Avengers and the Iron Man armor model 8 which is also kind of called the Silver Centurion so it's what we have here so could be a mixture of either James Rhodes or Tony Stark but either way I think it looks cool of course we have pretty much had this before just minor changes and we'll see the different but overall I think it looks pretty cool so it is you know the older Iron Man design so it still looks pretty cheesy like with the face design with just the square eyes and mouth but I like this with the mostly all red armor, but then the white face plate, white arms, and white legs. So always looks pretty cool with that. And the nice, you know, sort of shiny, sort of metallic -y red armor. Love the like blue arc reactor color there on his chest. It almost looks like it's a sticker or something because it has like a little effect on it. But just like I said, looks kind of classic and cheesy, but pretty nice and decent at the same time. But pretty much just going to be another armor to add in with all of our Iron Man armors. But I think overall it looks relatively good. But we'll do the movement so the head can twist all the way around. So a little bit hard to twist around just with the shape of it. So it kind of goes up and around and weird. And then it can rock back and forth. So it doesn't really look down too far. Unfortunately, like that's about as far down as I can get it. But it does go up. But when you do, it kind of leaves a gap in there. So a little bit weird and awkward design with the head. And the other one had it too. So it's not like it's anything new. But yeah, just a little bit weird in the head. The shoulders do come up pretty close to 90. Can't come up all the way because they have, you know, this big shoulder piece in the way there. So it can come up at least that far. And then it can rotate around so this whole armor piece does rotate around with it so it can go all the way around then we get a bicep twist and the double elbow joint so we get that that bends up that far which isn't too bad just about to 90 with the wrist that'll twist around of course with these hands on don't have any flexing they're always in that position then we get the ab crunch there so crunch forward crunch back so not a lot of crunching mostly back for this but it does crunch and twist all the way around at the waist then the hips will come up pretty close to 90 and then out to the side that far thigh twist all the way around and the double knee joint that can bend up that far to the back so not far from kicking his butt and then we go down to the foot that can rock back and forth and twist side to side so I'd say it has pretty much like your standard Iron Man move it's not really missing anything or have anything special of course limited movements with all the armor and everything which is expected so nothing amazing or fancy about it but you know just an updated version of the Silver Centurion armor and for accessories we do get some additional hands so we get some fist hands so if you want to have fist instead of the sort of repulsor hands we do get those as an option but to go with those repulsor hands we do get some repulsor blasts so we get these nice blue blasts of course they look like they're all bent up so we'll have to fix those up but we can have the repulsors now shooting out of his hand since he does have these on so there iron man has the blast shooting out now which looks relatively good so i like that design overall and then of course as i mentioned we have had the silver centurion design before so i'd say this one looks definitely much more silver with the silver arms and stuff compared to the white but body wise in design it's going to be pretty much exactly the same i don't think they've really changed anything at all beyond the white and silver so everything else will be exactly the same between the two all the movements and everything so it's just a different variation if you don't have that one this one will work out as well but I think I do like the white it just seems to stand out a little bit more but also with the name you know silver centurion the silver would make much more sense but still a nice looking Iron Man model and next up we have Dr. Hank Pym, which is an endometriologist, biochemist, roboticist, engineer, and physicist that's considered one of the smartest humans on Earth. He discovered the subatomic Pym particles that can increase and decrease the size of an object or living being, and he became the original Ant-Man alongside his wife Wasp to be the founding members of the original Avengers. But after many personal problems, Hank decided to give up the costume and dedicate his life to scientific research, and he would join the West Coast Avengers as their manager of the Avengers 
Avengers compound, acting only as the resident scientist. So he looks cool here, you know, just as a basic stripped down form, you know, just a human basic form of Hank Pym, which looks pretty good. So has a pretty decent face, you know, just, you know, looks like a male, nothing too specific or stand out about it, but just has the blonde hair that's parted and sort of off to the side. So looks decent there. And then he's covered in this all jumpsuit. So like this orangish brown color with what looks like a black shirt underneath, black belt around his waist, and then black boots down on his feet. And otherwise, you know, just a completely jumpsuit covered head to toe. So not a whole lot of specific there. And overall, you know, pretty basic, simple, not anything fancy to it, but it does fit for him just being this basic scientist version of Hank Pym. So it's cool that it's included in that way. But we'll do the movements so the head can twist all the way around. You can look down that far and up that far. So pretty decent movements there. And it does look like the lower neck sort of twists around and moves there as well. So you get that additional movement. The shoulders do come up to close to 90. You have to kind of force it there, but can come up to 90 and rotate around. We had a bicep twist and the double elbow joint that can bend up that far. So pretty much all the way up on itself with the wrist that'll twist around and flex back and forth. Then we get the ab crunch. So you can see the crunch cut out. So crunch forward, pretty much nothing and back very little. So not a whole lot of crunching for him and twist around at the waist. Then the hips will come up to 90 and out to the side. Thigh twist all the way around. The double knee joint, a little stiff, but can bend up that far and pretty much kick himself in the butt. So that's pretty cool. Shin twist at the top of the boot. And then the foot will flex back and forth and twist side to side. So decent movements. And he has a lot of the same body as we've had with the more recent like classic version of Red Skull. I want to say like Dormammu from that villain's wave we had. So pretty much similar with the arms and legs, pretty similar to them. We are just a little bit switched out with the body to, you know, add the buttons and pockets and everything there on his chest but like I said it's not like for this a real necessary figure but I do like the design of just having a basic version of Hank Pym but for accessories all we get is some additional hands so we have hands that are more like claw hands and then a trigger finger hand as well so just to give you different holding options to go along with those hands he's already got there and of course we don't really have any other non-superhero versions of Hank Pym so I just grabbed an Ant-Man so this is the more recent one that was actually Scott Lang but he's wearing Hank's outfit so I decided to show this just so you can see the comparison between between Ant-Man and just scientist Hank Pym himself. So pretty cool to see the two differences there between the two. And awesome, like I said, it's kind of weird to just have him without the costume, but I do also really like having him in this form a lot. And that brings us to our final figure of the pack of Spider-Woman, who is Julia Carpenter. Now, she joined the team much later on, but she was convinced by a friend to take part in an athletic study where she was unknowingly a test subject where she was accidentally injected with a mix of spider venom and exotic plant extracts, which gave her powers similar to Spider-Man, and she began working as a freelance hero, and when a mission led her to California, she would assist and join up with the West Coast Avengers. Now, for her powers, she has superhuman strength, speed, durability and reflexes as well as wall crawling and psionic webbing so she looks pretty cool here you know has you know the spider-man s sort of design so she has the white spider on her chest love the mostly all black spandex and the covering that comes up but her hair is all sticking out still so she has the long blonde hair and i like since you know it's older from her early time in the west coast avengers so her hair is much poofier and everything but red lipstick and then the white there around their eyes and then she's got the white sleeves that come down all the way to her hands and then same with like up the legs there down to her feet so i just just like the design you know, pretty simple basic just black and white with her blonde hair sticking out that adds that you know shock of color but i think it stands out and works quite a bit but we can do her movements so her head will twist around again who knows what the hair how well we'll be able to get it twist yeah i can get it twist all the way around if you sort of force it there and then she can look down that far and then up just that far because of her hair so just a little bit of rocking for her then the shoulders come up to 90 and rotate all the way around. We get a bicep twist and the double elbows. So we get the pinless double elbows again. So it's going to be pretty much the same where it can bend pretty much all the way up on itself there with the wrist that'll twist all the way around and hinge back and forth. Then we go to the ab crunch under the chest. So crunch back and forth and twist all the way around. The hips come up to 90 and out to the side. Thigh twist around. Again, pinless knee joints that bend up that far to the back and the foot flexes back and forth and can twist side to side. So decent movements once again and pretty similar to Tiger overall with that design so it works out pretty well for Spider-Woman. Now for accessories all she comes with is some additional hands so we get fist hands to go along with that so no web hand like we've got with our older versions and speaking of the older versions we do have this version as well we can see so definitely like once again a much needed upgrade. I don't think the hair looks much better on this new one compared to the older one and then of course the updated joints and stuff so pretty cool to have this up updated version of her. Again, not necessary, but it is cool just to have an upgraded body for Spider-Woman. 
Well, that's going to be it for our Amazon exclusive West Coast Avengers 5 pack, wherein we got Mockingbird, Tigra, Spider Woman, Hank Pym, and Iron Man. All are pretty cool. Like I said, not necessary figures since we pretty much have a lot of these, but it's cool to have Hank Pym, you know, without the costume. Nice to have the classic version of Mockingbird in a really nice design. The upgraded Tiger with the more proper coloring, an upgraded Spider Woman with the upgraded body and more accurate hair color, and the Silver Century and Iron Man in a cool design. Like I said, him, you could take either one, doesn't really matter, but I do really like the white on him a lot. So it's a really cool pack. Like I said, definitely not necessary. You could easily miss out on these figures. I wouldn't be surprised if they released them individually or in some sort of other packs coming up. But pretty cool to have all these. I'm really happy with this pack. Like I said, they're not all characters I would think big name, you know, hard hitting characters. But it's a really fun, interesting pack with good figure designs overall. So let me know what you thought of these five down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this review, let me know with a thumbs up. But I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all stay awesome out there. And I'll see you in our next review.